Love Them Knives. We're at the 2019 SHOT Show in Vegas at the CRKT booth with Bryce. He's going to show us some of the significant new offerings for 2019 from CRKT. We're just going to walk and talk it, okay? Right on. So, bring it on, Bryce. Let's do it, gorilla style. I like okay. it. Okay. So first up, uh, we have a new locking mechanism. Uh, this is from Flavio Icoma. Oh. We're calling the knife the seismic. The innovation, the lock, is called the deadbolt. So the deadbolt's a really simple operation. It works off this main pivot here. Press the button. That's how you close the blade. It keeps your hand out of the blade when you're closing it, so it's a lot safer, much more intuitive. But the real piece de resistance for this knife is its strength. So if we flip the knife over to the back side, we're going to notice this portion here. If you were to pop this out, you have two lugs, a long lug and a short lug. And essentially, when the knife is locked, the long lug goes through the liner, the blade, and the other liner, and the short one will go through the liner and the blade. Essentially, to make this life, uh, uh, the lock fail, you have to shear off those two pins. Um, in our experience so far, we've done it in the lab, we push it to 2,600 inch pounds of force, and we had a failure, and it wasn't the lock, the blade broke. <laughs> okay. So we're pretty confident this is one of the strongest locks on the market. It's more intuitive, it's safer, and stronger. So I'm great. really excited about that. Flavio has had some great knives. I'm sure you're fans of the Fossil. Oh, oh the yeah, fossil. the Fossil and Beautiful. the Carnifex. Carnifex. Don't forget the Carnifex. Yeah. Love Flavio, love helping him out. So we're really excited about that. Brand new lock and mechanism for CRKT exclusively. And an option in the black with black the Vesserations. The yeah, Tom Veff, our local sharpening guru. He'll Veff anything. If you got something, he'll Veff it. I dare you. Veff it. Get Veff. <laughs> Get okay. Go vest yourself. Um, so the, the next <laughs> knife here. This is a new designer for us, uh, Joe Caswell. He uh, fans of his might recognize this from his Kickstarter, the Morphing Karambit. Oh my God! And this is what we're calling the Provoke knife with the kinematic uh, opening mechanism. Okay. So the blade actually comes out instead of a traditional Karambit, which will fold like a regular knife. Yes. This one actually deploys the blade out the back. Just like that. Okay. So if you were to hold it like a traditional karambit, I'll get the knife back here. You don't have to deploy the knife, but then when you're ready, the thumb pushes it down, the knife is deployed, and you're ready to utilize the blade. That's slick. It's brilliant. Joe is a very masterful engineer. He saw an, an engineering uh, problem where no one else was. So he developed this um, kinematic mechanism. And uh, it's a really cool. So it locks in place once it's deployed. I saw exactly. you kick something to to okay. And you that's the lock switch. right there. Yeah, you gotta see okay. that lock. See, all you would do is you push that together, mm -hmm. and that releases the blade. Okay. So that's all you'd have to do. Uh, another cool feature of this knife is actually the lock or the um, the clip. Excuse me. Oh my god. If you look back here, all you do to to get that to raise up is squeeze. And that will go right over your pant pocket. Oh, okay. So it lays completely flush. And unlike other karambits where usually with your pocket you're going to be showing the whole ring, mm -hmm. this one rides much lower and you only should see about that much of the of the, the pocket clip. So. Wow. It's a cool very, thing. Very, very cool. Just yes. cool. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That's kind of... Yeah. Cool. We'll have to do a full review. The Provoke. As well, yeah, all aluminum body, D2 tool steel on the blade. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so good choices there, I think. Great choices. So we're really excited about that one. You see it just about anywhere. Next up, slacker. The slacker. Yeah, this is the Ken Onion design with the Ken Onion field strip mechanism. I'm sure you're fans of that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the Ricari. Oh, That's yeah. like that Duhara thing, but I, I really, uh, that too. was like my favorite. And then the original. Oh, yeah. The home front was a yeah, great blade, front. and yeah. I still carry it quite a bit. I'm a really big fan of this knife. Um, Ken Onion actually put this out as a mid-tech a long time ago, and so they're really popular knives. You can still find them at Blade Show and some of the other kind of collector's events. But we, got a, we came in with a more value-oriented option with the field strip, so you can take the knife apart and put it back together very simply. But Absolutely. just a really great overall EDC blade. Small aluminum handle, so it's very lightweight. Flipper opening. I really love this blade design too. You get a lot of precision from the tip of it, but it still has a lot of cutting power in the back. So yeah, nice I, little coil on the back for sharpening as well uh, behind the behind the uh, edge. Totally. 
And a good good jimping. I love the placement of the jimping on the top here. Really can help you dig in when you need to. So this is the Ken Onion Slacker with Field Strip. Yes. Wow. Fingers in the way. And uh, also deep carry pocket clip. Who doesn't like a deep carry pocket oh, clip? Look how yeah, deep that everybody is. loves it. <laughs> so yeah, we're really excited about that new model. Okay. Uh, we got a couple new all the field strip. We got the prequel from Lucas Burnley. Oh, that's nice. That's a pretty cool blade. Just a really funky blade shape, too. And it's a field strip as well. Field strip as well. Oh, my God. Which is really cool. Ken developed the field strip, but he's allowed any of our designers to use it. So that's why you, the Rikiri, Duhara. Yeah, we have yeah. have a couple new models out there. James Williams has a has a model with field strip. Okay. Uh, moving along. Any of your fans of your Pilar? The Pilar, yeah. This is the Pilarge. Or Pilar Large. Yeah. I think Pilar Large. That kind of rolls off the tongue a little bit better than yeah, the Pilar Large. Yeah. <laughs> so we have three new models. A little bit longer in the handle, but about the same weight, too. It's kind of tough to tell, but we did some really good skeletonizing with that one uh, showing. Okay, yeah. I don't know if maybe I can just hit it right in there. There you can see the skeletonizing a bit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we actually have this model with all steel. We also have a model with G10. Mm -hmm. and they're about the same weight. Wow. So just a really great knife. Fans of the Pilar are going to love this one. It's a light, slightly longer handle. Um, and we also added a flipper. So now, oh, wow. So now the blade okay. will open with the flipper. It's a great little quality. Um, uh, these are the two more affordable models at $54.99. And then we have a model here for 69 that features D2 tool steel. Oh, yeah. So if you want the higher end steel, we've listened to our fans. We, yeah, uh, we absolutely. Have a, so we've got that model for you if you're looking for the D2 tool and steel. And the D2, is that a flipper? Uh, yes, it is. They're all flippers now. Okay, now? Okay. So all of them are flippers. And if I can, we'll see if I can do it. But you can back open it as well. Okay, yeah. That's absolutely. always fun. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So those are our new Pilar Larges. Um, another model, and I don't think we can make it on the other side, but I'll try to grab it. Excuse me. Yeah. This is the Richard Rogers CEO. So, designed to look like a pen. When it's closed and in your pocket, you can see that really deep carry pocket clip on yeah, there. Yeah, it disappears. It sits real low, just looks like a pen. And I think this knife, the real thing that I really like about it is the way it opens. It's almost like shooting a marble, but it builds up a little resistance. The blade mm -hmm. comes flying out, and that's not assisted. Okay, I was gonna ask, yeah. Okay. It's on our IKBS ball bearing system. Yeah. But it's just excellent geometry. And uh, Richard Rogers, if you have seen any of his custom knives, that's a real center point for him. His knives open really well. And we've really captured, uh, I think, the soul of this knife. Yes, this production very model. slender, too. Slender. Very I'm, lightweight. I love it, yeah. That's that's up my alley. I like a small knife that's capable of big tasks. And I think yeah. you can get a lot done with that knife there. Absolutely. It's a really cool one from Richard Rogers, and I, I hope we get a couple more of his. Absolutely. So I agree. Really excited about that model. Let's see what else we got on this we side. we got to get the big bones. The big bones. Let's go do that one. I think you're right. Yeah, so fans of last couple of years will know the crossbones from Jeff Park. Yeah. He works for Ken Onion. But now we have the jump bones. Yeah, those are the jump bones. I, I definitely have to have that. Yeah. It just makes you happy. I definitely have to have that. Just a really large flipper opening. It opens really well. The weight of the blade helps a lot. You actually have the crossbones on that pivot point there. Does it have IKBS on it? Yes, it does. Oh, wow. Cool. IKBS, so it helps the flipper open. So that's aluminum? Aluminum handle, lightweight. You have the liner lock in there. Good, solid, deep carry pocket clip. But um, fans of the regular crossbones, I think, are going to like the jump bones as well. Some? Like me? So. Yes. <laughs> yes, right? Never can please everybody, but that is just... Just a sweet opener. How big is that knife overall? It's got to be over nine inches. Oh, right? for sure. And uh, oh. you know, honestly, it actually fits in your pocket when closed a lot better than you think. So that's a big concern of mine, but it actually does fit very well. But I'm mostly about that opening. You barely have to put anything on it, and it opens just a little bit, and you're, it's open. It's so cool. Really cool. Love very cool. So really excited about that. Well, there's one as Ken. Well. Those are Ken. Ken Onion right over there. It's Ken Onion. You got Brian Ty. That's just so much fun yeah. about these shows. You got to oh hang out with Knife Royalty. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, there's Brian. Okay. Brian Ty. TJ Schwartz is around here. I mean, 
We've got Richard Rogers over here. Right. Yes. I have a gentleman who says he has a meeting scheduled. With oh, me. I'm getting called away. I guess. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys checking out our time, taking time to check out our Thank you so much for giving me a little bit of time. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, Bryce. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right. (laughs)